I'd like to take a step back from the immediacy of the discussion and the facts and the figures and everything we've had and think about how different this conversation would be had the opioid crisis not come to a head and come on the scene as it did uh, a few years ago. Uh, and that the very conversations that we're having, like the discussion we had today about how telehealth has been advanced by COVID, the, the, the circumstances of the opioid crisis has allowed us the opportunity, uh, demanded of us to look at things differently uh, as, as providers uh, and as, as practitioners along the way to serve the public need and to serve the, the, the patient need. And I would suggest to us that, that we began this, the very first session began talking about the old days, uh, the, the days of, <coughs> excuse me, of working separately, uh, the days of, of competition versus collaboration. And while all the things that have been brought up this morning uh, are important and critical and need to be taken care of, one of the most important things we need for our future is to understand how far we have already come on this path. Uh, and that we have accomplished a great deal in moving the ball forward on behalf of the people that we serve and the, and the problems that they present with. And that as we move forward in this time, as Dr. Stano said, uh, this very, very critical time that no one knows what the new normal is going to be. No one has a clue how this is going to sort out financially uh, and all the way. But one of the things that you and I can control, we, we have the opportunity to, to make a decision about today, is how we'll continue to work, cooperate, collaborate uh, together on behalf of those patients. Uh, and that will, in times of crisis, and as pressures increase for financial reasons and other reasons, that we don't step back into our siloed perspective. We maintain our coordinated and, and, and integrated movement uh, toward greater capacity for the system, regardless of, of how it's paid for, et cetera. But as a whole, that, that we model what we want to see among the patients that we serve, uh, and we model the, the behavior and the, uh, the, 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 uh, the concepts that will allow us to bring forward greater good for populations, regardless of the care that we provide and in the setting in which we provide it. Uh, so thank you very much.